Here's a leftover topic from integral calculus. Recall, when we compute basic Riemann sums, we need to appeal to the following formulas for sums of integers. So for instance, if I take 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up through n, by Gauss's trick, we have n times n plus 1 over 2. We also have formulas for sum of squares, sum of cubes. A question we usually don't address in integral calculus. Do we have formulas for general exponents? So how about the fourth, fifth, sixth powers? And if so, where would these formulas come from? So these are the questions I want to address in this video. Now, we're only going to use basic calculus Two things that might be slightly advanced. I'm going to need a partial sum formula for a geometric power series, and at one point, I'll compute a limit using the Hopatel's rule. Now, the answer to our two questions is given by the following recipe. So, we have k a positive integer. I want to take the sum of the kth powers of 1 through n. The way we find this, I'm going to start with this function here, x raised to the n plus 1 minus 1 over x minus 1. And I'm going to apply, okay, what do we do? We're going to take the derivative of our function, then multiply it by x. I'm going to repeat that process k times. That's going to give us a function. Then we're going to take that function, take the limit as we let x go to 1. The number that comes out is going to be our answer here. Now, in general, using the recipe is going to require heavy bookkeeping. So for here, we're only going to verify the case with k equal to 1. So I'm going to use the recipe to show that 1 plus 2 plus 3 up through n is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. Of course, we know how to get this formula using much more elementary methods. We just want to verify our recipe in at least one case. So, we take x to the n plus 1 minus 1 over x minus 1. We take the derivative using the quotient rule. So low d high, less high d low over low squared. Then we can simplify the numerator a little bit. I multiply by x. And then we take the limit as x goes to 1. If we set x equal to 1 in our function, I get 0 over 0 which means we can try Lahopital's rule. So I take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator, and we try to evaluate at 1 again. We get 0 over 0, so I try Lahopital one more time. Take the derivative of numerator and denominator, we evaluate at 1, then we have a number over a non-zero number, so that's going to be our limit. Now, we could factor out an n and an n plus 1 from each term. That leaves us with n plus 2 minus n plus 1, which is 1. So we get n times n plus 1 over 2, and that verifies our formula from before. Now, where do we get our recipe? First, we assume n is a positive integer. Consider the monomial x to the n. We're going to apply our operator x ddx. So first, we're going to take the derivative then we're going to multiply by x. Taking the derivative gives me n times x to the n minus 1. And when I multiply by x, we just restore the exponent. So I have n x to the n. Now, if we apply this operator again, well, we're going to get n x to the n from the first time we apply it. When we apply it another time, okay, we can pull the n out. And then we're just going to get back another n x to the n, so we get an n squared. If I do this k times, we're just going to have an n to the kth power out in front of our x to the n. Now, we're going to apply our operator here to the sum 1 plus x plus x squared all the way up through x to the n. We're going to apply this k times. So what happens? The 1 is going to go to 0. Okay, first time we do this, ddx sends 1 to 0. Multiplying by x keeps it 0. For all the others, we just pull the exponent out, raised to the kth power. So I have a 1 to the kx, 2 to the kx squared, and so on. Now to remove the x from the picture, we just take the limit as x goes to 1, which will be the same as evaluation. 
So I get one to the K plus two to the K plus N to the K, and that's the sum that we're interested in. Now, to get to our recipe, I just want to rewrite this term in here. Now, this is going to be partial sum for the geometric power series. So I can rewrite this as x to the n plus 1 minus 1 over x minus 1. This is not so hard to see. All I have to do is take this term, multiply by x minus 1. When we collect all our terms, okay, all the terms on the inside okay, with the middle exponents are going to vanish, leaving us just with the terms on the outside, the x to the n plus 1 and the minus 1. So we just divide by x minus 1 to get our formula. So that's our recipe.